Energy Transfers in a Circuit by kscience.com Here we have a simple series circuit which contains a 4.5 volt battery and a resistor. 4.5 volts just means 4.5 joules of energy is transferred by each coulomb of charge. So the battery causes the current to flow around the circuit. The electric current is the flow of charge per second. In the resistor, these red circles with crosses represent the positive metal ions. And these lines represent how the positive metal ions are vibrating in a fixed position. So these red circles represent the vibrating metal ions, also known as cations. As the current flows through the resistor, the electrons collide with the vibrating metal ions. The current then continues to flow around the circuit back to the battery. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Work is done by the battery for the electrons to flow through the resistor. As the current flows through the resistor, the electrons continuously collide with the vibrating metal ions, also known as cations. So as these electrons continuously collide, vibrating metal cations gain kinetic energy, so vibrate more. The increase in kinetic energy causes the metal ions to vibrate more, shown here by the increase in movement lines. The resistor then increases in temperature. This causes thermal energy to be released into the surroundings, represented by the red arrows. So thermal energy is released into the surroundings. So we've ended up with thermal energy being released into the surroundings, but at the very beginning, it's the battery which stores chemical energy. So the overall energy transfer is energy is transferred from the chemical energy store of the battery to the thermal energy store of the resistor. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So here we have a series circuit where we have a battery, a variable resistor, a motor, and two voltmeters connected in parallel. So let's say the voltmeter connected to the motor reads four volts, and we don't know what the voltmeter connected to the variable resistor reads, but we do know the battery is a six volt battery. So the question is, what is the potential difference on the variable resistor using this information. The potential difference is shared between the components in a series circuit. So the potential difference is two volts. We know thermal energy is transferred to the surroundings as the components become warm. This happens as energy is transferred to the components. As energy is transferred to the components, this causes the thermal energy stores to increase. As thermal energy is released into the surroundings, this heats the surroundings. So a rule you need to know is, the chemical energy stored in a battery is equal to the energy transferred by the components, including the energy transferred to the surroundings. So the energy transferred to a resistor in a given time can be calculated using any of these equations. You need to make sure that you learn them for your exam. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes.
at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.